This is THG News Today on THG Network. Good morning. My name is Mervyn Hanley and welcome to News and Commentary. It is Tuesday, 13th August, and I know it's a stormy morning in a few of the islands. As a tropical storm Ernesto approaches, I will talk to you about the storm in a second, but I must share with you that today's programming is powered by Feces on Nevis and Carl and Sons Unique Bakery on St. Martin. And of course, if you're a small or large business and you'd like to advertise and partner with us here on TH Genius today, uh, WhatsApp us. WhatsApp us today, tomorrow, whenever at one eight six. Nine six six seven seven four four three. That's whether to advertise or whether for us to add you to our WhatsApp broadcast news list. That's one eight six nine six six seven seven four four three. And uh, again, folks, if you are new to this channel, I ask that you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now, I must tell you about a business this morning. Hanley's Plumbing on Nevis. No, I do not own it. (laughs) Hanley's Plumbing on Nevis at Hanley's Plumbing. They provide residential plumbing and I've heard a number of people. They only have high commendations for this plumbing company. So all around Nevis, many of you are at home right now. You're logged on to THG News today. Whether it's this morning, 6 o'clock or later on in the day, I know that you'll be logged on to THG News. And I am speaking to you today about Hanley's Plumbing Service, where they provide residential plumbing, clogged and blocked drains, installation and upgrades. Look at, look at the work they're doing there. Installation and upgrades, hot water installation and repairs, maintenance and cleaning, leaks and many, many more. You know, sometimes I see folks on social media complaining about um, some plumbing problems there, um, whether you're in St. Kitts or Nevis. So I am telling you now, located on Nevis, Hanley's Plumbing, contact them today for your plumbing needs. I can imagine one or two of you right now, you're saying, yes, yes, I needed someone. I was looking for someone. The other people, they are so expensive. Plumbing is so costly. Well, I can assure you, with Hanley's Plumbing, you get everything for your money. Yeah? So contact them today at 669-7171. That's, of course, 1869. That's 669 7171 Seven one Hanley's Plumbing on Nevis. Okay, and you'll be hearing much more about Hanley's Plumbing throughout the coming weeks. Now, let's get to some information. Let's begin, of course, with the weather. That's what all of you want to hear about right now. While it is not a major threat to the Leeward Islands and the Lesser Antilles, we continue to monitor Tropical Storm Ernesto. A few of the islands, you're feeling the approach uh, already with rain and, and wind, but the system should be out uh, of the islands by later this afternoon. Then it moves on to the British Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And then on a Wednesday, Thursday into Bermuda over the weekend. So folks in Bermuda, you should monitor closely the storm. There are watches and warnings as far as tropical storm watches and warnings. Of course, places like Antigua and Barbuda. Anguilla, St. Martin, Saba, St. Eustatius, St. Kitts and Nevis, British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. And yes, everyone, it may not be a major storm, right? But of course, you still have to be keep yourselves safe. I know that the airport in Antigua, um, VC Bird International, uh, it's closed right now until tomorrow, I believe. And meanwhile, the Princess Juliana Airport on St. Martin, that's closed or will close today. Yes, today, this morning. Uh, today, yeah, up until Thursday morning, Thursday morning, the Princess Juliana Airport on St. Martin will reopen. So please check with your airline before you head to the airport at any time. Please, uh, please check to the airline. And I also know that the governments of St. Kitts and Nevis are, they have closed their offices for today and there are already business closures as well. I don't even know why they just couldn't say, okay, folks, it's a holiday. It, it is, well, it's not a, it's a storm day. Don't call it a holiday. It's a storm day. So I know folks, definitely you're not going out in any wind to go to work, high winds to go to work today. So it's safe to say that a number of islands, um, the island will be closed today, really, when it comes to as far as um, business, um, office business and stuff like that. But you know, those Chinese, they're going to open, right? Those Chinese supermarkets. (laughs) You know, they're going to open. You know, KFC is going to open, right? At some point in time. All right. But just just keep safe. And um, just once you're in the tropical storms path, just stay safe. 
I know that there will be winds up to 50 miles per hour with higher gusts in some areas. So use today um, to, to give God thanks and to spend some quality time indoors with your loved ones. So much you can do on the indoors. Yeah? No. I don't know what's happening in Jamaica. I, you know, anyway, Prime Minister Holness, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what your chances will be like in the next election. Um, somewhat dim, but I don't know. Because on Sunday night, I don't know if you've heard, but on Sunday night, um, there was this murder spree, killing, I call it. A, it's an act of terrorism. You can't play with words. It's, it's, it's an act of terrorism. And uh, on Sunday night, about, what, seven people killed? And not, not seven people one in Clarendon, one in St. Anne's, or whatever the case may be, you know. Just um, gunmen just drove up and just started shooting. But let me read the story. Let me read the story. A seven-year-old boy. Hmm. Well, eight people, sorry. I said seven, but it's eight. A seven-year-old boy is among the eight people who were killed in separate gun attacks on Cherry Tree Lane, four, four parts in Clarendon on Sunday night. It is reported that in the first attack, residents were gathered at a car wash in the community around 8.45 p.m. for a birthday celebration. They were all gathered for a birthday celebration. When a white vehicle drove up and three men armed with guns alighted from the vehicle. The men opened gunfire at the group of people who ran in different direction. When the shooting subsided, it was discovered that four people died on the spot. At a birthday celebration. So they got out of the vehicle, they killed, they shot at people. Four people died in, in Jamaica. Four people died on the spot. And the three others were pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. Police reported that the armed men then drove off from the from that birthday celebration in the direction of the Maypen Bypass area. And on reaching a section of the roadway, while still in the Cherry Tree Lane community, they stopped at another gathering. So after killing four people, shooting down the place, they went to another area in the same community, stopped at another ga gathering. Two men reportedly exited the vehicle with handguns and opened fire at the group before escaping. So they just were shooting. One person was shot and killed. Amongst the among the deceased, Cavell Daly, a young lady, a 27-year-old cosmetologist. Lawrence Francis, a 50-year-old construction worker. <laughs> Diamond Bennett, a young lady, 20-year-old cashier. Aiden Bartley, a 7-year-old student. Errol Stewart, a 58-year-old butcher. Jesus, this is terrorism. This is an act of terrorism, Prime Minister Holness. And the names continue. And then, so nine people in all were injured in the first gun attack, including a one-year and a nine-month-old toddler. Huh? Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey says the unfortunate and brutal incident borders on terrorism. No, sir, it's not bordering on terrorism. It is an act of terrorism. And as he believes, it was done to instill fear and intimidate the community. What's going on in Jamaica? What is really going on in that place? The Minister of National Security shouldn't have a job. Prime Minister Holness, what are you doing? Or what are you not doing? My gosh. My gosh. And um, finally, now this happened on Anguilla um, on Sunday night. Anguillians and residents and visitors of Anguilla, they were celebrating the 50th anniversary of Carnival. And I believe that things were going well. Of course, people had their concerns leading up to Carnival 50 on Anguilla. And then to end it all, it ended with a bang. No pun intended. Kalik Aaron, known Locally in the Virgin Islands, in the BVI as a dustman, tragically lost his life in a fatal shooting that occurred on Sunday night on Anguilla. The Virgin Islander was one of three victims caught in the violent incident on Roadwell Road near Sandy Ground Pond. Aaron succumbed to his injuries. The Royal Angola Police Force confirmed the tragic event, stating that the shooting took place around 9.40 p.m. and officers quickly responded to the scene, which was immediately secured to allow for a thorough investigation. The Royal Angola Police Force can confirm a shooting incident occurred on Roadwell Road around the Sandy Ground at 9.40 tonight. Tragically, one person is deceased. And that's from the official statement 
from the police. Uh, up to this moment, up to before I came on the air, I have not seen an update from that press statement. So we'll await more information from the Royal Anguilla Police Force. Hopefully they will find whoever did this. They will charge them and they will hang them. Um, I know that that's probably not on the books right now, but we have to begin to get radical with these thugs, with these terrorists who's terrorizing the people. You, Some of you may say, oh, the gangs are taking out gangs or bad men taking out bad men or whatever the case may be. And some of you may say it, you're okay with that. But what, it, what is it? You know, your country, your island, whether it's Anguilla or Jamaica or whomever, it is just crazy. And you have to start to think radical and do radical things things to these people because these criminals they have no mercy on the on its island on the island they have no mercy for the people they're just doing whatever they want to do so why can't we do well not we but the authorities they do what they have to do they do what they have to do this got to stop you know under books you go into parliament or the house of assembly and you, you you have all these laws about gun amnesty and when it's not gun amnesty you're talking about um, you're, you're going to have stiffer penalties. You're going to have 20, 30, 40 years for owning a, an illegal firearm. But that's not stopping them. They're still going. So get rid of them legally in terms of sentence them and get back hanging or something on the books. Come on. You can't have this going on every minute. Every day you wake up before you go to sleep. I mean, you can't. People are terrorized by this. Your island people are terrorized by this. Okay. I'm done. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do join me again tomorrow morning, God's willing, at um, 6 o'clock for a similar presentation of THG News Today right here on THG Network. Remember to stay safe. Continue to listen to the your local Met offices regarding Tropical Storm Ernesto. And of course, we here at THG Network will be sending out, if, if necessary, we'll send out information to you uh, regarding the storm via our WhatsApp broadcast. And that's number again to join the list or to advertise with us. one 667 That's one 667 My name is Mervyn Hanley and have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay safe. Marlin Sons have been serving the people of St. Martin for over 40 years. And the food and service get better and better. From early morning, customers flock to the bakery for their favorite sandwiches, cakes, pastries, you name it. First thing at morning and last thing at afternoon, folks rush to Carlin Sons for simply the best. There are two locations, Cold Bay and on the Pondville. In Cold Bay, the opening hours are Monday to Friday, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. On Saturdays, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Sundays, 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Opening hours on the Pondville. Monday to Friday, 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, 6.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. We also cater for weddings, parties, special events, whatever the occasion. It's Carl and Sons. Our staff, we are always happy to serve you. Call us today, the Colby location, 721-544-2462. That's 721-544-2462. Or in Phillipsburg, 721-543-1059. That's 721-543-1059. It's Carl and Sons Bakery. We are here to serve you. Nevis, satisfy your sweet tooth at Feezers, the coziest spot in Charlestown, known for its mouth-watering ice cream and dal parade. We are open Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come in and sample our patties, sandwiches, ear fried wings with fries, hot dogs, rotis, and now our famous smoothies, in all flavors, of course. And don't forget to try the famous bus of shut and saltfish. It's Feezers. Located at the entrance to the Cotton Jewelry Mall in Charlestown, Nevis. They are also available by phone. So place your order by calling 1-869-665-2458. Don't ask about the rest. Just try the best. <laughs>